today you're gonna meet my mom. It's a very weird day. Um, one year ago today, we lost my oldest brother, her son, and it was in a very tragic way. And we're gonna go to Santa Monica Beach, which is one of his favorite beaches. I mean, he loved all the beaches, but um, yeah, we're gonna start the day off by going to get some breakfast or something. I don't know, I'm hungry. And yeah, we're, we're gonna try to have fun today. As fun as we can during COVID and and um, yeah. Say hi, Madison. Say hi. Hi. What you got? You got snacks? <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, Malachi. What are you doing? Yeah. Good morning. Daddy. Is this yours? That's Daddy's. Yeah. And the camera. That's a microphone. Cheese. Oh. <laughs> you hungry? What would you like? Uh, chicken. <laughs> The thing is, when you lose someone you love, it's it's so weird because that person loved people just the way you loved them. You know, it's a whole other person, and it's it's crazy to think about that he had family, he had kids, and he had these things in life that he cherished and loved, and it's something that meant so much to him. And um, for that person to not be here anymore it's hard to comprehend it's hard for me to comprehend loving someone so much and knowing they love you back because they're your brother and they love you just as much and that person it's like the other end of the link not being here and now it's like it's open hole a void that will never be filled <sighs> i was told that grieving never ends and I can totally relay with that because it's been a year. I've, I've coped with it and, I, and I've learned a lot from it. I've learned a lot about myself from this too. Um, and it's sad how sometimes this opens your eyes to things that, that you might not previously think about. I think there'll always be a form of regret that I wish that I would have done more or did something more, did something different. But um, I know it's not healthy to think that way. Uh, just embrace it and learn from it so that's what I'm gonna try to do for the rest of my life it's it's crazy man it's it's not fair and it's not fun um, but that's that's life so so I took my mom to Santa Monica Beach we went to the pier um, it's a very special place for us it's a very private space for us and um, so we had our moment there and it was full of emotion and it was um, it was in a way kind of difficult to do but also something that we feel like feel like we needed to do and it was literally just visiting that spot I like to get my mom on a bike or scooter or something that way we could ride together Is this because you never know is that right She's so cute, I'm so excited for my mom to ride an electric bike. This is so awesome. Oh my gosh, she cannot wait. Oh. You got brakes, you got brakes, brakes. Handlebars. 
Okay. You okay? The brakey weren't scary. I don't know if I can handle it. Do you want to just switch it for the beach cruiser? Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Going try your luck. Test me in again. We let it rain. Kids don't start us up. Got that black and white. They ain't ain't game. It's the officer. Please don't search us. We don't got a thing. Tell her try your luck. Test me in again. We let it rain. Kids don't start us up. Like the fireworks. I keep the flame. Heard you barking up. This the wrong tree. I got the strings. Yeah, I'm charging up. They can't keep up. Got them looking drained. Now they walking up. Trying to put the fake. Makes a lot of noise. I told you. Look at. Listen. We should have brought some WD-40. When's the last time you've ridden a bike? Uh, probably about 30 years ago. Before I was born? Yeah. Like two years? Yeah, probably about that. So when Bobby was an infant. You know what, I don't were... even think I've ridden a bike before then. <laughs> Maybe before Tommy? Before Tommy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's been like 36 years. Yep, once you learn how to ride a bike, you'll always remember. But Never it's forget. scary in the beginning because I haven't been on yeah. it for so long. Yeah, it's all about the momentum. We could've got a tandem bike. <laughs> if Bobby and Tommy were here, we'd all be riding together, yep. for sure. Yep. And Cindy would probably be on a scooter or another bike. Probably one with a basket <laughs> on it or something for the, with the kids in it. She'd be pulling, yeah. We, we, we used to be pulling like a baby with a wagon. <laughs> Ready? What? I'm gonna take off, here I go. So I totally lost my sunglasses and my eyes are like watering. There she is. I'm gonna put this thing down so so we can actually like bond, not through the camera. <laughs> My mom was pushing the uh, trash in here and her hand went in that hole. How do you know? It's disgusting. <laughs> Film this cleaner? <laughs> yes. <laughs>